Good morning, Taurus. This is Shara from Charlie's Angel Tarot with your romance reading for July 2020. And welcome back, my cyber angels. And thank you very much for your amazing likes and shares. I do appreciate it. Taurus came in after um, Aqu uh, Aquarius um, as you had 27 likes and shares amazing and if you're new and you've just landed on this page um, welcome and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live I go live three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday unless something comes in between and I do also send out notifications on the U uh, community button on YouTube Facebook and Instagram so there's always an, uh, a guarantee that you will know uh, when I go live um, when I set out the notification I have heard from my viewers that they are not receiving notifications so that's why I make sure on other media channels that you know so long you are a member <coughs> Now, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, or an extensive reading, uh, please go to my website and have a look what kind of uh, readings I offer. There is different types of readings. Okay, and that goes for the new people and my cyber angels. Uh, you can find the information below this video in the description box or in the top right-hand corner or in that white circle with the eye. So now, there was we had a beautiful evening on Friday, and what came out of the discussion was that nobody joined the competition, so that is being cancelled. I left the video up and running just to see whether there were anybody, uh, any people that still wanted to do the competition, and but I have received no reactions as such. So that's going to be cancelled and what also came out is that the Cyber Angels love to interact with each other and with me and they would love to have interaction evenings uh, once in a while. So after summer we will have an other interaction evening uh, and discuss and see what happens um, in the discussion. This discussion was really nice though because it we start to talk about zodiac signs and their characters and you know make us more aware of who we are and what we're made of so it was interesting and I uh, thank you to all my cyber angels that joined in the discussion now I'm doing my nine card spread like the weekly but then it is uh, uh, not days in the week but it's weeks in the month <laughs> So this is the Quirin card or the overall energy card, week 1, 2, 3 and 4 and of course the clarification cards <coughs> in the four corners. Either it is the three cards clarifying the corner card or the corner card clarifying the three tarot cards. It can work uh, vice versa. Then I've got an angel romance card, um, uh, a suggestion or a task that you could do to use to solve issues if you have a specific question and an answer from the angel and this reading is for Taurus uh, July 2020 so let's get started with the first card and your first card Taurus is the six of swords now the six of swords means that you might be going on holiday well as lockdown is easing up and people are allowed to travel and that could be happening or you might have been planning like one of my friends she's been waiting for two months to immigrate to another country and she has moved home so this means also moving home and like I've predicted um, be, uh, two months ago three months ago that everybody m might be sizing down like businesses I mean businesses downsizing I think um, that could be as well um, in the cards for you if you have your own business you might be moving your business you might be downsizing your business okay well let's keep it to holiday or moving home 
excuse me. Um, you might also be crossing water. You can see that you can ha it, there is water here, and it's rough water here, and peaceful water there. So you are moving away from drama and uh, hard times. You're going into easier, more relaxed times. Okay? So that is a form of a new beginning. You are going to have a new beginning, as I see, because the card next to it is um, on both sides. So you will have less drama around you this month. You might not see it though in the first week as you have the Eight of Swords. You still feel tied up perhaps, or you feel um, that you have your back against the wall. Well, you see that she's got her hands free. <coughs> so shrug off those bandages or those ropes. They're not tied. You are not tied up, but you're wearing a blindfold, so you're not seeing... Um, what is happening around you. So don't walk around with blinkers on. Take those blinkers off. Shrug those ties off. Open your heart and open your solar plex. Take off the blind and open your mind to new ideas and possibilities. And if you find it hard, then ask somebody for their vision or point of view or for their help especially if you're moving home. You might not be seeing what has priority, what has to go into the truck first, what's the most important thing to take with you, what do you leave behind. Well, in the second week, you are. it shows that you are in a transformational period. Yes, you do feel out of sorts when you're moving home or moving from the old to the new, and you have to see, open up your heart and mind and eyes to see the new possibilities that are right in front of you. So this is the death card and you can see he's not turning, looking back, he's moving forward. And this is also, re uh, the death card represents Scorpio, so there might be a Scorpio near you or around you, or you might be meeting a Scorpio. That could be a new love of your life. Um, a new love of your life if you're not hooked up. So if you are hooked up, there could be a new Scorpio uh, around you that could be interested in you. But are you interested in them? Because if you're hooked up, you don't, and you don't want to um, shake your relationship or break it, then this will mean this could mean that your relationship will have a new fresh start. That you might feel bored now, and there might have been difficulties, but you have overcome those difficulties because you've taken the blinkers off, and now you are working. You're in the between station, uh, st stadium, to getting a new, fresh beginning. It's not a real death, and I don't think it's all. I don't think I don't have the feeling. Although I read for thousands of people, I don't think um, it is an ending of relationship because you're in transition for to a quieter times, and there are beautiful things happening. And I think you are m growing closer together. Something, I get the, the, the mother feeling, the nurturing feeling. I think you um, are growing closer together. Uh, there will be a, a, a refreshing of the relationship. Something exciting is going to happen, but there is no drama, no uncertainty. It's steadiness and step by step slowness because although he's riding on a horse usually he's depicted riding on a horse you can just see the horse's neck here and that he's walking okay and he goes towards what he wants to a new beginning 
and it could be with a Scorpio but it could also be with an earth sign um, an Aquarius sorry a Capricorn a Taurus or a Virgo because you've got the Knight of Pentacles you will be receiving news this could be a, a love letter from one of the earth signs or it could be um, n uh, a passionate <coughs> Uh, passionate news or even an offer of getting married an offer of moving in together Wow okay coming together a new beginning like I said the drama is over all the difficult times are over lockdown is over it's easing up so now you can come together and you didn't see that coming Wow that's a good surprise and this relationship, um, whether you're hooked up or not, is tangible and is durable and it is there for the long term. You have got uh, water here and you've got the Scorpio which is a water sign. So there is a lot of emotions in ev involved in this reading. Okay, there's a lot of emotions. Perhaps you might be a late teen and you're moving in with your your partner whether it's a man or a, uh, or a boy <coughs> and you're leaving the family home that is a big step to take and that is a new beginning yes you're leaving your childhood behind you are becoming grown up there's always a first stage we do have the mother figure here so that could have several meanings right and we do have an older man here like a 35 40 year old man and that's the night it could be anywhere from the late 30s to around mid 40s so this man could be your father and mother together okay and you're leaving the family home that's rather sad for mothers it is sad I've just experienced it for the second time and yes yeah, when children grow up and start living their own life it can be hard but you can also be proud you can be proud that you have fulfilled your task as mother but you will always remain the mother okay but now you've got time for your partner now you can have more time quality time <coughs> and that is also a new phase that is takes a bit of transformation to get used to it okay the next step will be grandmother <laughs> well that could be it because we've got the queen of pentacles here so it could mean that you might become grandmother if you're too mature to have children or when you are just setting out your own home and getting together getting married or living together you could become pregnant that could be the news that you are expecting you've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles stands for Virgo but don't exclude um, Capricorn or Taurus she, um, she has green fingers so she stands for fertility she stands for birth of a child or a project like a new home moving home she will nurture it and make it grow and then it will blossom and then it will harvest like the child leaving the family home this is such a loving reading and the energy of the readings that I've done so far there is the birth sign that's why I've chosen the photo on YouTube the baby or the baby fairy in a, a, a teardrop or a dewdrop I think that's so beautiful there is new beginnings for nearly every one of you and I thought that was such a beautiful photo it just spoke to me and called out and I hope you enjoy that photo too like the Queen so now the the it, in the fourth week of July you could fall pregnant or you could find out you're pregnant that is the news and your partner could be a earth sign or a water sign Scorpio 
or Virgo. But we have more water signs than night, so he represents the other two of Earth, Capricorn and Taurus. Now we're going to the first corner card, and again, I was talking about babies. This is the stalk, and the stalk means birth. Birth of a child, birth of a project. If you are too mature to get pregnant, you might become an aunt, or if you haven't got children, you, you could become an aunt or a grandmother. <coughs> The stalk also means moving home, excuse me for that, and 360 degrees turnaround. Like I said, um, if you've been having tr uh, uh, trouble in your relationship or your special friendship, then there will be a 360 degrees turnaround. It is, has been or is in transformation, because this card also means 360 degree degrees, a total turnaround um, to what it was. New, fresh beginnings. And sometimes we all have our ups and downs in our relationships. It is up to us to be creative and nurture it and grow it to something better and better and better. And renewing the interest and the freshness in uh, the relationship and not feel tied up, although sometimes it can be very hard. We want something new and we don't see it, it's right in front of us. So be creative, Taurus. Come out of your little shell and be your nurturing self and come out and enjoy life. Go out go to the park, go to the woods, go to the beach together and enjoy. There might be celebrations, like I said, there might be a birth of something, coming together, leaving home, celebrating your child's first house or your own first house. And there might be reunions with family and friends because you might be throwing a party because you're celebrating. And it could be outside, so everybody can be spaced out. And then you will f um, honor the advice for COVID-19 to keep the distance. Perhaps hold your celebration in a park with picnics. That could be lovely too on a beautiful summer's day. But. Uh, like I said, there will be celebrations coming together. This could also be presentations and meetings with you and your partner in the park or at other uh, gatherings celebrating something with somebody else. That could be an invitation to come to a party or a gathering. It's up to you what, what you will do. Will you go to this party or not? Will you be creative? Are you scared of the rule, um, the advices that are given, like stay at home, don't get into too bigger crowds? So be creative, like the Queen of Pentacles. Ask, and then it will become clear to you how big the party is, where it's going to be held, um, and do you feel safe? Wow, what a lovely reading. Again, you've got the letter, and the letter is confirmation of news. This could be through email, text message, or the old-fashioned letter. It could also be offic official documents, official documents, like moving home, buying your home, okay? It could be marriage certificate. You could be marrying. That, like I said, you could be moving in with each other, but it could also be marriage official um, documentation, your uh, wedding certificate or marriage certificate. You're not seeing it, but you are. Perhaps you are moving towards that because you're moving in or have bought this house. 
you are in a transformational time and you did not see what was happening because there might be more than one thing actually happening celebrations, parties, birth, getting pregnant it, there's so much going on that's why if it's too much and you can't see what's happening or what you have to do first make your priority list then ask your mum or ask your aunt or ask your father or your uncle what can I do first if you haven't got parents okay communicate through cyber okay and the last card is the heart you have lost your heart to something definitely to uh, a person if not a home and you have decided with this person to rent that house or buy that house but because you want to be together in this house awesome that is for the ones that um, have just hooked up and thi are thinking what can we do are we going to get married first are we going to move home are we going to move in together are we going to buy our own house you've been a busy time but now you can relax because the decisions are made and you're moving on okay now for the ones that aren't hooked up there will be new love for the ones that have just hooked up you found your new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings like I said Ooh, that looks very stormy in this um, hearts card and you are moving away from s storm rough times and you will be together soon now for those that have moved on oh sorry for those that have uh, are ca coupled up look I look how loving she's looking at her knight you will find a new way of love like I said if a child moves out and you're left alone then you have to find a new way of filling your time yes and then you usually fall back onto your partner but it's like being 17 18 again and you you have to invent something you have time for each other so you have to keep the balance in this new time you might find a new hobby as well you might find a hobby a new hobby but also a hobby to, to do together like perhaps buy a boat and go on holiday with the boat perhaps to buy a boat and flip it I don't know it is can be so different for everybody but she's looking lovingly to her night and longingly and we all have to ref keep uh, our relations ships uh, um, fresh we all have ups and downs and we've got the card surrender to inner peace cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily now what did I say we have to be creative we have to fill our time with something else a new hobby alone or a hobby together you are flowing more easily if you meditate and contemplate and evaluate the situation at hand don't give up you are still the mum and you will always remain the mum or dad you just have a little bit more time on your hands perhaps now your child is living in their own house but now you can phone up and say let's go fishing or just something just came in and you go away for the weekend that is again adventure something new you are ready you have thought about it and you are going for this new beginning 
you're not scared of this new beginning. You've had time to transform. You are in your strength. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, reading, Taurus. And again, if you would like to become the first one, then keep on clicking those thumbs and you'll be the first, perhaps next time round. And thank you for clicking and sharing and liking. And I hope to see you in the live sessions, in all of them or in just one of them, and if not, in the next video. And remember, you are in your strength and your kids always need you. Now it's your time and your hubby's time, to all your partner's time to be together. For those that are mature and for the new ones, you will you might become a mum and um, if you don't want to become pregnant then take precautions and for those that have no children don't want any children but um, are um, coupled together then nurture that beautiful relationship take off the blindfold and be creative in how to spend time together perhaps go sailing perhaps go fishing but go on belief that you are loved because you've got the heart and you've got the man Ooh, he's the knight in shining armor for you so just carry on there are always ups and downs but you're going into a more quieter and stable period if you're not hooked up that could be a gorgeous earth sign for you Taurus could be another Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn or a Scorpio I wish you a beautiful month ahead enjoy the nurturing because Cancer is also a loving passionate nurturing energy it's a gentle energy and also sexy and sensual energy so enjoy the month and stay well and stay safe.